Hello everyone, it's that time of year, we're in the middle of previews, we got a whole bunch of stuff revealed over various social medias for Bulge American, the book dropping November 4th that is covering American forces from 1944 up until the end of the war. So today we're bringing you a battle report preview where I threw together a veteran Sherman Light Tank Company out of the new Bulge American book. This has some fun new units such as a light version of the M4 Sherman with Front Armor 7, the fan favorite Easy 8 with its HVSS suspension and some pretty sweet special rules for use, my favorite the jumbo variant of the Sherman with some pretty thick front armor to help tank German shells. We also got our M26 Pershings, the American Panther, and the T26 Super Pershing, the American King Tiger equivalent. We also got our Calopy launchers, our uh, little organ that we throw on the back of our Shermans. This book is a bunch of other fun formations, such as the Veteran M24 Chaffee Company, which means all you light tank fans out there, we now got an M4 Chaffee available. Same gun as the Sherman, but that 12-inch tactical. We got some more infantry formations here, this one being a Battle Weary Rifle Company, and a Bastonia Parachute Rifle Company. We also have some upgraded tank destroyers in the form of the M36 tank destroyer and one of my other favorites, the M18 Hellcat tank destroyer. So yeah, once again, this launches on November 4th. I certainly am excited for it, and that's why I threw together this little preview battle report with Paul, where he's playing an army out of Bagration German, and I took a veteran Sherman late company. But before diving into this battle report, just a quick reminder, if you guys like what I'm doing on here, be sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and feel free to leave comments down below. Let me know what you think of this. Check me out on Instagram and TikTok as well. I'll have both of those links shown with my link tree. And if you want to further support me, I do have a Patreon up as well. So all of those links will be down below. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. Uh, I can't say that enough, but on to the battle report. So as I said earlier, I'm taking a veteran Sherman company out of Bulge American, so the late Shermans. But this list is going to be a little funky, because I've played around with some command cards. The three command cards that I used were M4 Sherman Tanks, the 3rd Armored Division, and the Warrior Patton. The M4 Sherman Tanks allowed me for a point discount of minus one point to downgrade the M4 Late Shermans to the Shermans found in D-Day American, which makes it so that they're front armor 6. So able to squeeze a little bit more in points wise those discounts ever important and those discounts continue with the third armored division card which unfortunately I don't have a photo of so what this card does is it makes the tanks motivation reluctant 5 plus and a protected ammo remount of 4 plus which might seem pretty iffy but I'm pairing this with the warrior card Patton, which makes it so that any unit leader within eight inches and in line of sight gains remount two plus, rally two plus, depending on your stat that you use for this. And in addition, you can reroll one reserve roll. This is huge. It allows me to take the points um, discount, which is minus three points for a Sherman platoon, to make it so that I can further discount my tanks to put these points elsewhere. There's two other aspects to my list that I wanted to showcase, that being the M4 Jumbo and the T26 Super Pershing. Uh, you can upgrade one Sherman per platoon to a Jumbo, and you can take a platoon of one 
T26 Super Pershing as well. Here it is, a Veteran Sherman Light Company. I have an HQ of two Shermans, both of which I downgraded, a platoon of five Shermans, three of which I downgraded, one of which I upgraded into a Jumbo, and then two platoons of four Shermans, three of which I downgraded, one of which I upgraded to a Jumbo. Then I have a platoon of three the mortar trucks, a single T26 E4 Super Pershing, and then in support I have a Battle Weary Armored Rifle Platoon without their half tracks, a Cavalry Reconnaissance Platoon with one Greyhound and two Jeeps, and a single battery of three M7 Priests. Paul has brought a Panzer Grenadier Company out of Bagration, German, which is consisted of the HQ, two platoons of five stands each and three half tracks, a platoon of six gun half tracks with their short barrel 7.5 centimeter howitzers, three pack 40s, and a platoon of four uh, half track mortars. He also managed to get a full five tank platoon of Panzer IVs included in the formation. In support, he has two Flak 88s, two units of two Pumas, and a single Elephant. Right, deployment is finished up. We got the Germans selecting this corner back here, Americans placing the two objectives there. 
getting a spearhead forward into here to get our new Sherman platoons with our jumbos and then I downgraded all the others as well as the HQ got the Greyhound company or platoon in there for the spearhead got the priests back here my battle weary armored rifle platoon without the half tracks posted up right here got our half tracks there and to see how it goes we got the super Persian chilling right there with that front armor 13 got some pack 40s some 88s some mortars some Panzer Grenadier platoons and two sets of Pumas deployed like so. Shifting over this way into reserves. We got the five Panzer IVs and the Elephant, and then these are being held in ambush. So we'll be back after turn one American movement. Right, American movement turn one. Blitzing and dashing over here to get the Shermans pushed up. The recon element shifted uh, forward towards the town square. The infantry shifted forward, three of them road dashing up here, then everyone else getting scattered among these two buildings. The mortar staying back as it's going to attempt to drop a bombardment on those anti tank elements. These half tracks staying put. These priests did a little cross check on him to get him up, so they're not going to be able to fire this turn. And then the super purging stayed put as well. So we are going to shift now into shooting, starting with our range in attempt to right here, which is making it so it hits in the open. So, first thing we do is rotate, rotate our fella to face. And then I need a four plus. So First attempt, got it. Yay, time on target. Nope. No? Only the priests. Oh. It's specific. I it was just all Americans. No. Well, it's an American rule, but it's just uh, the large artillery. Ah, okay. Uh, so, three, uh, four pluses on the pack 40s. Yep. That is two hits, which I need to re roll because it's one gun firing. And one hit, and then the one hit on the flag 88, which missed. So you got one save on your pack 40. This one is, nope, no, no, no. Roll it, three up. We're good. Yep, and you can. Uh, and then, yes. The pack 40s are. Pack 40s, yeah. Pack 80, 40s are pinned. 88s got missed. Now we're gonna have the Super Pershing dump two shots needing uh, seven because they're concealed, gone to ground, long range. So I need to roll sixes and then fives. So needing sevens. So need stars, got one star, and now we need a five, which we didn't get. Uh, then that is going to be it because the bazookas are only like a, not that much of a range. And then, yeah. That will be it. We'll be back after German turn one movement. Well, starting step first. So we can do that right now, actually. No recording. So bales and pins, you got one pin on your pack 40s over there. Yep, no over recording. Here. It's a four. Your no respite make it a last stand? Nope. Or confidence is four. 
Motivation. Yep, so you're confident, so four. So they are no longer pinned. And reserves. Yep. Which is a five up. Nope. Nope, no reserves. So we will now be back after German turn one movement. Smoke has been laid. The 288s and the 2 pack 40s with line of sight are going to fire right down here into these infantry taking cover behind the rock wall. So we got our first round of shooting. I am long range concealed. So sixes. Yep, so four of the pack 40s. Mm -hmm. Get that out of the way. No bits. And then the 88s. Nope. And nothing either. Uh, the that is the jumbo. He's front armor eleven. What about that? Front armor six. All right, I want him. All right, that is going to be firing through concealment, so it's yep. going to be a five. Nope. nope. One shot from the puma into guess the building. There's a bazooka in there, right? Yep. All right, I want him. Puma firing on here. It's going to be a five for concealed, six for long range. And the other boom was dashed, so no. And that is it for German turn one. We will shift into American, almost said Soviet, uh, turn two. Starting step will be now with nothing really that special going on. So we'll be back after American. Two American movement. The Sherman shifted up. These shifted around the town. Patton made his little shift. Uh, the armored rifles stayed put. The scout section swung down this way, and the Pershing stayed put. We're going to shift into shooting right now. We're going to have. Uh, we're gonna figure out what I want to fire first. If I want to do a smoke bombardment with anything, which. I think I will. I'm going to start with these guys. Going to smoke bombard over here. Right down here. So that's going to be a 12 inch line of smoke. Smoke. Now we're going to shift to this Sherman platoon over here and have these guys were positioned correctly because they all could fire. All four of them are going to fire smoke rounds. So, he is going to have to allocate here, and then these three can see pretty much the entirety off of that. So, you're going to be concealed, gone to ground, long range, so sevens. Oh well, they aren't going to do anything. Uh, these three are going to use their stabilizers to put six shots into those two pumas, going to be needing fives because of the stabilizers. They are... Fives. And that is four hits, two per Puma. Yep. Uh, I'm AT10. Do you have an armor save? No, it's front armor three. Three? Okay. Ooh, almost. Uh, so the first one with two is dead, and the second one with two is dead and failed. So that is two dead Pumas. Now we're going to shift over here for these guys to a shoot and scoot. We're going to attempt to shift them forward because they don't have any more targets. It's going to be a three plus. The ever elusive shoot and scoot finally succeeded. Um, and then we're going to attempt 
to use our unit leader here on the Super Pershing to do the range in on our priests in the same spot as he was ranging in on. So it will be a four to range in. So first attempt. Got it. That's a time on target, so it counts as a repeat bombardment. Uh, so, for this instance, I don't have six guns, so you're re-rolling successful saves. So, the three pack 40s needing fours, two hits, and then the one flak 88 is not hit. Right? Is your 88, like, discounted or anything? Nope. Okay. So, uh, the two saves on the pack 40s with re-rolls. Yep. People threes. Nope. Fail one, and... Double failed on the other. Double fail, dead, and the other fail is also dead. So, I didn't declare, so your choice. Uh, usually I go for like stuff like that. I go for the center. Yeah. Uh, and then, I guess we'll try and shoot and scoot the fucking Pershing? Nope. Nope. So he just kind of sits there. Uh, that should be it for American Turn 2. So, some carnage, some... Here, can you actually uh, shift marker B over on top of that? Oh, wait, what the fuck? Why, might as well. Might as well, right? Uh, repeat bombardment, no line of sight. Oh, no, he only used one, so he's going to spot for the mortar as well. <laughs> yes, Mr. Super Pershing, fire! So, hit one, and hit the other, so the flak 88s are also pinned now. Okay. Uh, so this is repeat bombardment, so you're re-rolling successful saves. Yep. 88. And the other one. Other one's good. The 88 fails the firepower, so the 88 is still alive, but the 88s, importantly, are now pinned. So now that is it for American Turn Toy. We'll be back. Well, we'll do your starting step now. I need to get into this habit to hit the starting step up. Two pins. No two pins, no bales. So, pin on the 88s. 80 good. good. Yeah, I called it 88s. Uh, 40s, good. And now last stands on the which pack 40, which is fail. So, pack 40 done. fleas. You are, in fact, no longer here. You take that. Uh, and then I believe... Ambushers. Yes. Where are they going? I'm concealed. All right.
right, turn two, German movement, the infantry shift forward, uh, and that's really it. On to shooting. We're going to have the four, zoom in a little here, four guns at the top firing across to these Shermans. And I'm going to assume that these two at the bottom are going to be firing over there. Yep. So I am in the open. Four guns. So fours to hit. Who's your target? Uh, not the jumbo. So... Three... Three Shermans. We can hit these two. Yeah. Two, start. Yeah, they start five. balancing. So one aim at one of those two in the center. Yep. So then you don't have to seal Or so I don't have to seal it. So fours. So one hit on every single one. So that actually works out perfectly because I can't bounce to any jumbos. Oh. Uh, so my front armor is six on the other three, so armor saves. Uh, I'm going to go me to you. So unit leader is good, second is good, third fails, and then jumbo auto passes. Yep. So okay. you got a firepower on third and line. Yep, and that's a three up. So you got it, so that's one dead Sherman. We'll deal with that here in a second. Yep. So then your other two firing onto these guys, that's gonna be long range. And concealed because you're firing over this area terrain here. So that's going to be sixes. Two hits. So I'm going to assume your allocations were here and here. Yes. So I'm going to attempt to mistake and target one onto the jumbo. So three plus, which I got. So one of the hits is just negated. Pretty much ignored. And then the other one, a armor save at plus one because of long range, which six definitely passes it. Yep. Get the one, we did get one. Sherman. Yep, you did pop one Sherman. So okay. I'll take that. Yep. And then, oh, oh wow, that was a big zoom. 10x, 3x. There we go. All right, and then the two Pumas firing down here at these. So I'm going to be uh, concealed, so fours to fives. Yep. Uh, fire him first because he can only allocate against him, and he can allocate against either. So him first, needing a five which he misses, and then the other fella over here, needing the five as well, which he also misses. For the slaughter with you! And then we'll throw a shot from the elephant to the uh, super Persian. All right, one shot from the elephant to the super Persian. That's going to be a five to hit. And that's a miss. Has nothing. Turn three, American movement. The infantry shuffle forward with the unit leader success, uh, succeeding in his blitz. The Shermans all shift forward, Patton holding in the rear, having line of sight to each of the unit leaders, except this unit. Um, and then the second in command shifted up to uh, fire through the slot of the dead tank. Super Purging didn't move. Greyhound didn't move. We're going to shift into shooting now. We're going to start with the unit leader here attempting to drop a smoke bombardment over here. So it's going to be a four plus to range in, because we're all groovy. Failed on the first, failed on the second, and passed on the third. So smoke. They are 100% Smoke from the priests. Uh, so Starting with our other shooting, uh, we're just gonna have this one Greyhound who stayed stationary dump its two shots over here, needing fours. So, one hit. Side is a two. And a six is dead. Uh, next one, we're gonna have a repeat bombardment fire off here, who can actually see now. Yep. Uh, so, two dice on the uh, 88. 88. Double six, that's a hit. And repeat bombardment. So reroll yep. successful saves. Nope. And four plus. Nope. Uh, I'm gonna have this super purging turtle with shots off. Um, it's gonna be a five. Yep. 
So two shots, needing fives. That's one hit. Uh, 16 to 17? Yes, for long range. And that's definitely good. Uh, so now, these four Shermans are going to target him because he'll be out in the open for all four of them. All these needing fours. It's a lot of threes and ones. But that's a nice cluster of sixes. Okay, so you got five teams. Uh, so the single is going to be the dude in bulletproof cover. You're too close, too close for error. Yep. So the dude in bulletproof cover, needing a three plus. First one. He's good. And now everyone else in sets of two. Sets of two. Yep. First one. Dead. Second one. Dead. Uber dead. Third one. Yep. Alive. Lance. Fourth. Is alive. So two die. Uh, not bulletproof cover. Yep, yeah, not bulletproof cover. Um. So yeah, the twenty mg shots. Now you're definitely pinned. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let me uh, get my handy dandy marker here. Just figure ourselves out here with how I'm going to do this. So, five, five fifty cows. Okay. Uh, we'll be targeting your edge here, so I'm not firing into the smoke, and you're in the open. So fours. That's cocked. All right. So you got three guys. Every single one of them has two, so no need for mistaken target. So bulletproof cover. BBC, BPC. Yep, go for it. He's good. And then the. Not unit leader. Is dead. And then unit leader. Is also dead. Is also dead. Okay, and now the 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 10, 30 cows. So these are going to be hitting on. Uh, these will be a 6 plus firepower. Yep, and then these. Which I didn't hit with a single one. All right, uh, now everyone else over here, that's going to be six 75 mic mics into there and one that moved. So the one that moved is going to be hitting you on fives. That's one hit. And firepower, that's a bail. And then the other three, four hits. Particular one is just uh, any one of those four. I won't be targeting those two for sake of these. Okay. okay, so one on each. So the bailed guy, I'll roll first. Yep. He's dead. Okay. And then the other three, two bail, one dead. So two are dead, two are bailed. Okay, so two bail, one are dead. 50 cal into the side armor of that Puma. Let's see if this Jeep can bring home a W. Fours. Nope. nope. No hits. What about the other one? Uh, other one is only a mortar. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And I do believe that that is it for my turn three. On to German turn three. Starting step. Yep. We have two bales, a pin. You got two pins. Two pins. So the two bales first. Yep, two bales. Uh, remount should just be a flat four because I think it's your last stand that's modified. Right. And it's it's regular uh, it's the regular ones. Mm -hmm. So two bales, which is a four. Neither. Well, stay bailed. Uh, there are two, two left. Ones, yep. Though. So you're good. No um, need for last stand. Uh, then two pins. So pin on the 88s. Pin on the 88s. Stays pinned. Pin on him. It's good. It's good. And then last stand on him, needing a five. Nope. Nope. And he flees. Also. Last stand on. Oh, yeah, that's right. The door. So, uh. He goes. He gets scrapped. Oh, that's right. The crew runs. 
and a pretty disastrous starting step for German turn three. We'll be back after movement. So, repositioned the smoke marker so we could see exact lines on it. So the two panzers here are going to be concealed for butting in. These two are hanging out in the forest. That was the unit leader who is now that one because he failed his check. The elephant shifted its way around here doing a terrain dash to get into position. And the two half tracks shifted right up into there. So, um, yeah, we're going to move into shooting which I believe you said the only thing that you were doing Just was one shot. shot into here, yep. into the house. Are you able to ping that without touching the smoke? Where's my, my measuring tape? Yours yeah, is a skinny. So you're able to get it so that you're not nicking that smoke. Get that all the way down if you can here. Uh, oh, okay. Just uh, shift him up, move him up, because we know where he is. Not the entire thing. Oh. The entire thing so we can go flat. You're nicking either way. So that is a no, because it is blocked by tall terrain. So, missed with the time-lapse hyperlapse, this recon team shifted forward. All the Sherman stayed put. I just got a kill. Bail. Kill or bail that one, and that one, and then it's my game. So, shifting into shooting, these four Shermans are going to fire onto that one, needing fives. That is three, three hits. So he's for sure bailed. Oh, we'll see if he dies. Yeah, and he's dead. Okay, so he's dead. And then the other one, which is going to be five. So two more shots onto him, which is going to be fives as well. Okay, we're still too close for... Uh... You have too close for mistaken target. Okay. All right, these are only AT-10, so you do get armor saves. So, three armor saves on him. It's still too close for mistaken target, I think. Yep, still too close for mistaken target. And front should be six. Yep. Six ten. Yep, so four is equal, five is two. That's One two fails. And he's dead. So, cool. that okay. is game. So, he goes and he goes, and that makes it so that he is now controlling the objective, because he is not within four, he is, and he is not within four, which I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of reading and whatnot, and talking to people to see how it's played for the within rules for terrain and stuff like this, for how we've played to see if we need to change slightly. But that is Bulge American, quick and dirty game, for four turns, at four, technically got to turn four. Super tanks did absolutely nothing. Well, I mean, mine did something. It held yours up. But that is it, everybody. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And uh, I'll catch you all for our next battle report.